Alright guys, today I've got a fun video for you here. We're going to be installing uh, Eclipse ROM on the Verizon Galaxy S4 and the Verizon Galaxy Note 3. So, both these um, do not have unlocked bootloaders. You have to be running uh, SafeStrap on them to install these ROMs. So, first things first, let me just go into my file system and show you guys. you got to download the ROM. And I think, I don't know where I've got mine at actually on this one. Let's look. And we'll go to storage, external, downloads. Here we go. So right there is the Eclipse ROM. Right there you can see it on top. And you got to make sure you have that on your device before you really start this process. Also, you obviously, you guys are going to need to make sure you have SuperSue um, already installed. So, so you're going to have root access, you're also going to have to have SafeStrap already installed and running. Um, if you don't have any of that stuff, obviously you're going to go ahead and check my other videos on each of these devices. I have how to root them, how to get uh, SafeStrap on them, all that stuff should be uh, in my playlist on these videos on YouTube. Here you go, there's Eclipse for the Note 3. So we've got Eclipse on both of these. Um, right now, just so you guys know um, what I'm running here. This one right here is running Hyperdrive, um, which is a safe strap ROM, and this is actually is already running Eclipse, but I'm going to go ahead and flash this just to show you how to do it. So first thing you're going to do is go ahead and do a restart, reboot, and also on this one, go ahead and do restart and reboot. Um, and again, just like you've seen if you've installed anything on SafeStrap, you're going to have the SafeStrap splash screen and you're going to enter into SafeStrap mode. You can see both these do say custom because they have root access and SafeStrap installed and the system saying, wait a second, something ain't right here. So go ahead and hit your recovery button again over here. And we're going to boot into SafeStrap. See which one does it first. Oh, well, should be in that order anyway. So we're in SafeStrap right here. Um, Obviously, if you're on your stock system, it's actually going to look probably more like like that if, you, if you're running from a stock system and the first time you installed anything. So what you'll do is you go in here, and I actually have Eclipse labeled correct already, and I'm going to activate this ROM slot. And it's activated. ROM slot 1. going to go to wipes. going to do a factory reset. Go back. Go back install find my ROM right there it is and swipe across to install and then over here I'm gonna actually do it differently because I'm gonna actually show you guys how to create a ROM slot so I'm gonna let that install and while that is installing I'm gonna go ahead and go into here and go to boot options oh so this actually has a Roma installer it's using to install this which is kinda nice so we'll wait on this and we'll finish doing this really quick so we're gonna go to um, next next do a full wipe is fine again say safe strap no kernel because that's what we're running here install now and let it install so you can see i have hyperdrive right here in rom slot one on my note three while uh, the s4 is installing this is also rom is based on mk2 so if your device is running mk2 you don't need to install any modules after you flash this if it's not you need to install modules um, and I'll try to show you that when this is done. But I'm going to create another ROM slot here. This is a 32 gig, you know, Note 3, so it's got tons of space. So I'm actually going to create another ROM slot. I have my stock slot. I have Hyperdrive. We're going to create another one in ROM slot 2. And I'm going to be, everybody ask about these and what this is. So I'm going to try to explain it to you. So first one you have is System Partition. So what System Partition is, is the size of space that the actual ROM gets installed onto. It's where all your system apps are installed, all that kind of stuff. So what it's set for defaultly is normally pretty good. I like to bring mine up to technically three gigs. All right, now cache. Cache partition is a place where it stores temporary files. So it's at 300, that's probably okay. I like to bring mine to 600, um, but that's temporary files and that's what it is on there. Not a huge deal. Um, 
but that's what that does. Data partition size. This is going to be your critical size. This is the one that I always get complaints about. So what happens is somebody creates a ROM slot, but it's not a big data partition size. So when you go to download some heavy, big games from Google Play, they fill that up very fast, and then you can't download anything else because you don't actually have 32 gigs when you flash a ROM to a ROM slot. You have the size of the ROM slot. Obviously, there's space there. You can store pictures and stuff on there, but the ROM slot itself is only as big as you guys make it right here. So if I go up to this, I get 3 gigs. That's normally plenty for me. I'm not a big gamer. I don't download insane amount of apps, so that's normally good for me. But you can go, I think, pretty, pretty high. You can go up to 4 gigs, I guess, is max. Even though I have more space, the biggest uh, data partition size is 4. But I'm going to go back to 3 because that always works for me. And I'm going to create this ROM slot. So while this is creating, we can see that this is already all flashed. Everything's done. We can go next. And right here, this is where it's important. If you're on MK2 build, you can actually just, just hit finish. Okay. If you're not, what you're going to want to do is you want to go here and you say quit installer. Say yes, quit. And now you're back in safe shift. If you do the finish, it'll just reboot the device, which is fine if, you, if you're on MK2. But if you're not, you're going to want to come back here and you're going to want to find the modules. So MK2 modules is what I have, and I would flash those. But since it's based on it, I don't need to. But you need to make sure you have your modules, whatever the build number is for your stock system, have those modules on your device and then flash them after you flash this uh, Eclipse ROM. So just be aware of that, understand it. I'm not going to do it because I'm on MK2 and that's what the ROM is based on. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot and reboot system. So we'll let that boot up while we're finishing and create this ROM slot here. Um, one of the things I will tell you about uh, the S4 and its version of Eclipse is it is based on AOSP. It is a progress build. So to understand what that means is the progress build means it's in progress basically if it says it's a version like if this one is version 1.01 that means he's got all the bugs pretty much worked out just tweaking at this point whereas if it's a progress build like on the s4 um there could be some issues so one of the issues that i found is could be a deal breaker for you guys like i said it's a progress build he'll probably update and he'll fix it but it basically anytime you install a purchased application it crashes the device so if they're all free applications the free versions it's fine they download from the Play Store everything's good but if you purchase the if you download a purchased app it crashes and restarts the phone um, and it just doesn't ever installs it so kind of a bummer for right now but again like I said it is a progress build so things happen alright so let's let that finish and this one right here, let's go ahead. We got ROM slot 2. I'm going to go ahead and set nickname. Call this Eclipse because that's what it is. Eclipse. And hit go. And then back and your Eclipse, your highlighted ROM slot 2. We can go back. And normally, I mean, you don't have to do wipe here because you just created a fresh slot. So there's nothing to wipe. So I don't even bother if I just create a fresh slot to even do a wipe. So I'll just go right into installs. And I should be able to go to ROMs, and here it is, Eclipse TouchWiz Note 3 version 1.0.1 zip. And because it's a version, like I said, most of the bugs are worked out and you don't have to worry about it. So we'll just go ahead and click on it, and flash, swipe across to install. So while that's going, let's check out the S4. We're going to buzz right through the uh, setup on this thing. Okay, we're connected to Wi-Fi here, and we just got to finish up the rest of this. I'm not going to set into my Google applications right this minute, and just finish this up. You can see that this version over here on the Note 3 does not have the Aroma installer. It just uh, installs in SafeStrap. It doesn't have that other feature, um, but obviously this one's running with the Aroma installer. So here we go. That's pretty much it. Everything should be installed correctly and you are now running Eclipse here's some 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 views of it on this device the S4 which is pretty cool it does have torch which is functional 
Uh, you can kind of see the light back there. Um, obviously it has a Wi-Fi hotspot kind of built into it, which is really cool. Uh, and we'll check out the applications really quick here. Obviously Nova Launcher is the launcher built into it. You do have a file route manager up there. Super Sue, Google Wallet, Watch On, Terminal Emulator, a couple Samsung things in there, not too much. So pretty cool. Um, and then over here you can see this one has finished installing. So you can just go ahead and do reboot system now. So let that reboot. And while it's doing that, let me actually log into my store and just make sure these applications are downloading correctly. Okay, we're loading into my Google account and should be loading up. While that's doing that, let's go ahead and see. You can see we're actually booting Eclipse over here on this other phone. Um, man, there's just something about this Note 3 screen. I just love it. It looks amazing. Gotta love this. This. All right, so go ahead and uh, installed ES File Manager. It's just one of my favorite applications. Very, very nice. Uh, has some very, very, very nice features in it. I love it. My favorite. So you can see some of the toggles in here. We'll go into settings and pretty standard settings. Um, you can see it is Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. MK2 is your version, obviously. Um, you can see the rest of those settings in there. There isn't any real like Eclipse settings. Um, because this is a progress build, he will be adding that, I'm sure, and you'll be able to see a lot more cool stuff like that. This has got the uh, AOSP style dialer, along with calculator, and some of the other like uh, people and things like that are AOSP style. Nova, Nova settings, because it is running Nova Launcher, um, Super Suit Terminal, Google Wallet, all that kind of good stuff. So pretty standard. Uh, very, very nice ROM. We'll keep an eye on this and should have a lot more cool stuff on it uh, as he uh, finishes updating it and getting this thing fully functioning. I will give you guys links to both of these um, forums on Elemental X, uh, which is Nitroglycerin's forum, who is the guy who develops Eclipse ROM, which is very, very cool. So that's going to be good for the S4. Let's check out the uh, Note 3's version of it. Here you go. This is your lock screen. Very pretty looking. And you can see some of the uh, cool cool settings here. You do have Nova Launcher, obviously, same kind of stuff. Um, notifications. Here's all your quick toggles, all your information on it, which is got some nice stuff. It's got Torch, Wi-Fi, uh, Hotspot built into it, obviously. All that's going to be enabled and functioning. Um, let's see what else we have. We have AOSP style, again, calculator, calendar, phone, all that kind of stuff. It does keep some Galaxy Gear functionality, action memo, some of the uh, Samsung features are still in here, S Note, S Voice, that kind of stuff. You do have Super Sue for root access right there, and obviously your widgets and all that kind of goodies in there as well. And then I guess uh, the last thing I really want to show you in here that's, that's very nice about Eclipse is when you have a full version like it is for the Note 3 here, it comes with Eclipse settings. And we'll get into those. Let me quickly show you though, we're running Android 4.3, MJE, and we'll go into these Eclipse settings. The rest of those settings are very, very standard. I'm going to turn on power saving mode. But then let's go check these out right here. First thing I'll show you is the battery. You can go to styles. You can pick what you want here. I really like this style. Or you can change that style. It's pretty cool too. Let's leave that one up there. Um, how, how you want it to animate when you're charging those features. You have some quick toggles and stuff you can change with those. Turn on and off, which is quite nice. And lock screen mode, different things you can turn on and off here. Um, inverted eclipse mode. This is going to be a zip. Once you click on it, it'll download a zip that you can flash in the safe strap and give you the inverted Google application. So whatever's white normally in like Google Gmail, I should say, is going to be black. So wording and background changes, which is nice. It's cool. I like I like the inverted look. A lot of times it's very nice. Here's flashable add-ons. So you can download TouchWiz Launcher and flash that sucker in safe strap. And if you like that kind of if you like that launcher better than Nova. Which is nice that those options are in here. Um, Google Boot Animation, if you want to add that and uh, download that and flash it, versus the Eclipse Boot Animation you saw with Eclipse on this, on here, you can obviously do that as well. Um, and then obviously information about Elemental X Designs, Forums, Donate, and all that kind of stuff, Nitroglycerin 33. So very, very slick. Um, 
Eclipse settings is probably one of the best things about this ROM and a lot of what makes it really, really fun. Obviously you have your multi-window launcher on the side here. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this device. Definitely nice customization on it. Very smooth operation and uh, definitely like an Eclipse on the Note 3. So there you go guys, that's going to be how to install Eclipse on S4 or Note 3. Uh, both Verizon devices. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, as always, uh, follow me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, uh, you know, YouTube, wherever. And uh, stay on top of this. I am doing a giveaway, so don't miss that. It actually has got one day left. Maybe tomorrow, I think, Friday. We'll be doing it. We'll be ending it. And it should be pretty fun. So, pretty much it. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.